Hi, welcome to our fourth and final video on how to create a stunning WordPress theme with Divi 2.0. In this video, we're going to be exploring uh, more of the modules uh, and uh, yeah, just having a final look at a few of the things that make this theme just so powerful and amazing. Okay, so I'm going to go back. What I'm going to add in is just two, two more very basic modules. Uh, so we're going to add in two sections this time. This time, I'm going to add one section in. I'm going to make the background a color as opposed to an image. Let's say we want to go for a bit of a we'll go around for a blue. Get our spectrum there. A bit more of a bluey sort of color. And then we're going to avoid once again. You can have the video background. We don't really need to worry about that right now. I'm using color. So I'm going to save that. In the next section, I'm going to include a background image. No fancy animations or scrolling effects this time. Okay, save. So now we have our two two different sections here. Um, this is nothing super exciting about this one here. We're going to go full width, and we're going to insert a contact page, a contact form, I should say. So uh, we'll just simply find it should be just around here somewhere. Contact form. You can choose to display a capture or not. The capture is actually just a little math sum that people fill out. The email address it goes to, we'll call this one test at test.com, which is not really the email address. Contact us today. And the usual suspects, CSS class ID, whatever. I'm going to save that. And finally, down the bottom, I'm going to insert a call to action. So once again, we're going to go full width with this one again. Insert a module. Call to action. Okay. So what we're going to say is we're going to say join us today and change your life. Okay, and the button URL, we don't have one at the moment. So you can use this simply to uh, you can set up a page with a form on it, something like that. And uh, you can actually just simply have that button go to that page and, or you know some kind of processing page where you get people to either sign up for your newsletter or make a sale, whatever. And simply on the button text, Sign me up as we were looking at before. We're going to turn the background color off. Text color light because the background we chose was dark. And we're going to save that. Okay, so we've added a call to action and a contact form here. So let's just update. And now we'll refresh the page. Now, as you'll see, the color is a little bit disgusting, but we've got a contact form, enter name, email, message, the capture. We can enter in the you know, a little math sum answer and people can actually contact us through this form you don't have to worry about installing a plugin this comes with the Divi theme and of course you got a nice little call to action down the bottom here now just remember this page may look a little bit small but it is also zoomed in at the moment and 100 percent if we zoom in it's everything's a much larger you'll see that parallax scroll effect looking pretty good there contact us form it all looks pretty slick so i'm just going to zoom back out again just so we can sort of see what we're looking at there. So that's pretty a few basic elements, but there are a few more little nifty things, especially if you're running sales pages, that sort of thing. This is another section you want to look at. So once again, we're going to add yet another section. This time I'm going to make the background color just completely black. I'm going to save that. And we're going to add in some columns, say three. So 33%, 33%, 33%. And we're going to add in a few bits and pieces here. Now these are just nifty little tools you can use, little animated tools. Uh, there are a few more we won't go through here because we simply can't fit them all, such as tabs. We won't be able to go through a lot of that stuff today. But um, what we're going to do is go through, there's a circle counter. Where are we? Circle counter. We're going to insert that first. So what we might say is uh, performance. A lot of this isn't going to make sense on the page, but it's more just to show you what you can do. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. Um, performance, the number we're going to have is, say, 76 percentage. Is a percentage sign. What we say? Uh, money saved. 76 percent. So that's a pretty big saving. <laughs> so we're going to make the text light because we're on a black background. Bar, background color is green. We've got the usual suspects down the bottom there save and now what we've also got is bar 
counters. I want to show you some bar counters, which are here somewhere. Bar counters, similar sort of thing. And this one is a way of displaying little statistics. Uh, my skin, black background, white text. So you can say something like, uh, say speed, percent, 100. You can add another bar, and you can say uh, strength. I think I must be looking at comic book characters at the moment. We'll say 75%. So think of this. At the moment, it kind of looks like I'm filling out a, a trading card for a comic book character, but just bear with me just for the sake of the effect. Intelligence, we'll say 55%. We'll say rank 100%. Okay. Background color is gray. Bar color is green. Now these are on the bars specifically, so um, I can sort of even make that a little bit of a greeny sort of color if I want to. A little bit lighter. So you do have options to, uh, once again, the usual suspects, save. And finally over here we're going to insert a number counter. So we're going to have a look, number counter. Okay, so we can have number of spots left available and the number is eight let's say you're running a some kind of event and you've got eight tickets left to sell you want to turn the percentage sign off if we can turn the text color on or off text color is light because we've got the black background usual save and the final thing we want to add is this is a pr pretty cool. This can be very handy if you're planning on selling something and have a limited time frame for uh, a discount, a sale, something like that. Uh, what's called is a countdown timer, I believe. Countdown timer date, you click on this. This is our title, I should say. So we've got uh, time until next, we'll call it uh, seminar. Countdown two. And you get a little date drop down. So let's say we want to make it a week's time from now. Done. Text color is white because we're on the black background. And we're going to turn off the background color because we want it to be transparent. And save. Okay, so we've had a circle counter, bar counter, number counter, and countdown timer. Let's go have a look so you can see exactly what, we're, what we've been playing with here. Let's refresh. We'll scroll down once again we've got that bang there we are you see we have eight spots left available we've got a nice little countdown timer here ticking away as we look on nice uh, little bars we can go through and change those anytime and a little animated circle here for money saved so if i refresh that you'll see they're all animated as you reach that spot on the page the animations will queue let's refresh again You see, you got this cool little animation. It's a little bit uh, choppy here because I'm recording a video, but uh, generally speaking, they're very smooth and very slick little animations. So as you can see there, we've managed to put together a pretty cool little sales page. I'll just zoom back to 100%. So that gives you an idea of the different elements you have available to use in the Divi team. It's got some very cool features. As I said, you can set up a nice little email subscription feature box very easily. With a, you got some cool little effects like your little slide-in animations, the the scrolling up uh, background option there, usual uh, text areas you can add in at any point in columns. You can even add small blog areas on your page. Uh, like uh, I won't actually add one in here, but what it does is it basically allows you to insert a blog, kind of like when you land on onto your WordPress blog and you got your your summary, maybe 10 blog posts on your on your front page, you can simply add that onto a page as well and that way you can really customize your front, front blog page using this one here. How many posts, which categories you want to include so you can have specific categories, that sort of thing. But you see we've got a very nice looking page here. This one's a little mixed up because it is just a series of random images and dummy text with cool little toggle effects, that sort of thing. The video, audio recording, account sign in. We'll get our little uh, little dials here, and of course, contact form. Nice little uh, call to action and a map. So this is 
this is really only scratching the surface. Pretty much anything is possible with this, especially if you have a little bit of CSS knowledge. You can take this web, website uh, builder, page builder um, from Elegant Themes very far with a little bit of ingenuity. So you've seen just how awesome this theme is. It really is on a whole other level uh, to a lot of other of these customizable themes and has its own unique spin on um, theme creation. So uh, if you are looking for any more information, I do have a complete uh, write-up and post over at designwebidentity.com slash divi info. Uh, also, if you want to go ahead and uh, get a copy of the theme, you can go to designwebidentity.com slash divi. I have uh, mentioned my other videos, this is an affiliate link, so I do make a commission if you do decide to buy it. But it is a very powerful theme. I've, I've been loving it ever since I got it. So if you do get a chance, it's worth at least checking out. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching.